much. We'll let you go then. How about that? Right. We'll let you go take a little nap, maybe get a Red Bull. How about that? <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be in rehab now? Do you not watch anything that goes on? I do. Tabloid now? Now, now here's what May I... May 2nd. I was under the... May 2nd? Yes. And how long will you be in rehab? Why well, don't you mind, mind your own you business, you old f***? <laughs> uh, three months. How many times have you been in rehab? Several. You need to stay out of women's business. What are they rehabbing, first of all? What, what is on their list? What are, what are they going to work on when you walk through the door? We didn't discuss in the, this in the pre-interview. No. Sorry. Now, do you, do, uh, do you have addiction problems? Should I be mean right now or should I be nice? Now you sound like Dr. Phil. Tell people, Tell people the, situation the situation that you were that in, you with, were your in with, your with your parents, parents and everything. And everything. My, pa my parents had been part of a very interesting lifestyle, I guess you could say. Um, they, they were, were in prison. prison. Yes. That sh pissed me off for real. Why do you act like that? Like the way that you act, you don't, you don't see how you act, why people don't want to be around you? And then and I read that you said that you really hadn't done but three or four times. I really hadn't done it. I really haven't done it more than 10 to 15 times. Of course, I said three or four. I was terrified mm -hmm. of judging, being judged. Mm -hmm. um, so what is the truth? I've done it like 10 to 15 times. Uh, well, yes. Are, are you scared, though, that... Uh, <laughs> I mean, sexual references, can it undermine the music? Because the sex, sexual references... Uh, <laughs> focus on that and I'm not scared. Are uh, you scared? No. Because <laughs> I'm not scared. No? Because you're not worried that they'll... Um, just... Uh, check out the sexual references and, and not care about the music? <laughs> no. Not at all. I've got three number one records and I've sold almost four million albums worldwide. <laughs> so, so what's the biggest thrill of your career so far? The gay Fuck. community. Oh, wow. Why? Can you... Because they don't ask me questions like that. What are you looking for in the next man? Pardon? What are you looking for in a man now to wear this cologne? I'm not looking for a man. Let's start there. I was wondering if you'd be willing to describe a few in just one word. Okay. Ariana Grande. Ponytail. Elton John. Glasses. Beyonce. Blonde. Pierce. Okay, great, uh, great gowns, beautiful gowns. Do you find it hard for celebrities to talk to their sex, to talk to media about their sexuality? What on earth are you on about? <laughs> I was referring to an interview given to Attitude magazine a few years ago. But what is your question? I was wondering if you find it difficult for celebrities to talk about their sexuality. I don't find it difficult for celebrities to talk about their sexuality. Um, Are you asking me about my sexuality? Um, sure. <laughs> Why? <laughs> um, Thank you. you. Okay. Were you silent or were you silenced? So you're sitting next to Anna Wintour at the Michael Kors show where you recreated that look. Have you guys ever spoken about the movie? From the Yes. And what has she shared? Why would I tell you? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm a fan and I need to know. Because I know what you were there. <laughs> I respect that. I respect that. Thank you. So, uh, if you could use makeup or your phone one last time, which one would you pick? Is this bitch for real, 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 for real? Makeup or your phone? Is this what you think time. girls have t trouble choosing? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, absolutely. Is this, is, this you, you, yes. is this men assuming that that's what girls would have to choose yes. between? Now this is not a question. Uh, that is rat behavior. The rat behavior. You should be very ashamed of yourself to act like a rat. Can you really go anywhere without your cell phone? Yes. How long Ooh. can you go without looking at Twitter? Many hours. Are you Rat behavior. When I'm at when a dinner, I'm at dinner table, table, I like to, I like to be, be present, present and, and talking. talking. Good quality. Like yeah. Eye contact. Ladies learn. learn. Yeah. Listen yeah. and learn, yeah. ladies. Boys learn. Oh, excuse Ooh. me. Come on. You, you see us on our phones? Nah, it's fine. <laughs> 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 we got a Beck, Come we're on, on a date right now. We got our Have you seen water? the new Boys and girls, we can all learn. <laughs> and that's on a period. Why did you decide to match the hair to the dress? Why not? <laughs> Do the nails match? Yeah, no. Oh, wait. Very similar. Very similar. I wanted, I wanted to go with like an almost ballet slipper color. They were out at my nail salon. They were out of ballet yeah. slipper? Who's ever out of ballet? Sorry. <laughs>
took the last one. <laughs> Just wear what makes you feel comfortable. Even if it's not comfortable, but if it's comfortable for you, like in your skin, if you feel good in it, mm -hmm. it's for you. What's your favorite meal? Favorite meal? Um, breakfast is always my favorite meal. Mm -hmm. So every breakfast food. I like mugs because they're very comfortable in your hand and they hold the hot things that you don't have to touch. Now, were you able to wear undergarments? You're, You're the, like the fifth person that's asking. Well, no, that because it... What is going on? <laughs> what, since when did people start asking each other about in interviews about oh, their no, underwear? No. Oh my God, is this who we are? Is this what we represent? Huh? Is it inappropriate? To ask somebody what kind of underpants they wear? I'm just scoot on over and let you whack him. Get him again. Get him for me. Uh, the book is taught, I know, at a lot of high schools and such. Did you get a chance to read it, or do you even have time to sit and read? <laughs> These days you're so busy. Uh, no, I never read the book. All the script, actually, I kind of winged it. Yeah. Uh, no, of course, Excellent. I love the book. <laughs> nice I think try. the book's amazing. You were doing one thing after the next, after the next. Club. Another club. Another. Do you find that it's easier for you to focus because you're so busy? If you had downtime, maybe it wouldn't be so easy for you? What do you think? No, I don't know where that comes from. No, I think, uh... Oh! <laughs> I saw you in London talking a couple weeks ago on TV, and you seemed a lot more excited about it than you do right now. Are you just exhausted? Oh, uh, no. Maybe I had a bit more energy. It's the morning. <laughs> <laughs> you, do, you, seem, you do seem a bit, a bit irritated. Perhaps it's just us. No, no, I think it's just you. I think it probably is us. Yeah. Yeah. Well, then on that note... We figured as much. We figured as much. We'll let you go then. How about that? Right. We'll let you go take a little nap, maybe get a Red Bull. How about that? <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> uh, Rihanna, this is a question for you. Uh, I have no doubt that all of your fans will be coming to see this film. You know, you have so many, and you're so good at connecting with people that I think that we actually feel that we know you. Things are clearly going brilliantly in your career. I just wondered if you are as happy in your private life. Are you seeing a certain Mr. Ashton Kutcher perhaps making a trip over here? Wow, how disappointing was that question? <laughs> Should we move on to another one? Absolutely. I think there was a question. We've got to move on. I think I'm there was happy a question and here. I'm single, if that's what you're really asking.